Today we are talking about the seven different species of sea turtles and some of their traits that distinguish them. So let's start off smallest to largest. First off we have the smallest Kemp's and Olive Ridley. These species are known for often nesting in arabadas, which is when thousands of turtles come ashore to nest at the same time. The Kemp's gets its name from the naturalists that discovered the species and the olive for their olive colored shell. Next, we have the hawksbill. This turtle has a very ornate shell and is unique to feed on poisonous sponges, but it does not negatively impact the sea turtle. They get their name for its hawk-like beak. Next is the flatback. This turtle only nests in Australia and resides in the Indian Ocean. They get their name from their flat-like shell compared to other species. All sea turtle species are on the IUCN red list. However, the flatback is considered data deficient as not enough is known about their population to put them in a specific category. Next, we have the loggerhead. They can be nicknamed a moving ecosystem for the amount of epibiota that can occupy their shells. They get their name for their large head as they have strong crushing jaws for their diet that consists a lot of hard shelled invertebrates. Next is the green sea turtle, the largest of the hard shelled species. They are herbivores as adults and as their diet consists of vegetation, their fat deposits are tinted green, which is where they get their name from. Lastly, our largest species is the leatherback, which can reach lengths of 7 feet and weigh over 2,000 pounds. They get their name for their leathery type shell that allows them to dive very deep in the ocean, accounting for those pressure changes. They have a diet primarily of jellyfish. Now that sums up some of the unique traits of the seven species of sea turtle. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to give it a big thumbs up and subscribe for more turtly awesome content.